I wanted a structure to be able to take whatever idea I had and um, actually push it forward in a really structured way. I just never knew how to do that. I didn't just want to make pretty things, I wanted to make usable things. I wanted to make things that were like meaningful to people. Why? Why am I doing this? Am I helping people? Am I doing what, um, what's important to me? I started a school uh, called Lawson Center for Design. Um, which teaches the idea of driving impact and, and revenue and value. Uh, and so instead of just making cool stuff to make cool stuff, let's make cool stuff that actually helps people who are maybe at a, an inequitable uh, position. Students respond pretty well to this idea of interaction design, but again, it's amorphous at the beginning. It takes a long time to sort of say, what, are we, what is it that we're talking about? I mean, I heard there were going to be post-it notes here at AC40. I did not know what they did. <laughs> the process is one that starts with ethnographic research, um, the idea of watching people in the context in which they do their job, um, sketching uh, ways that you can solve uh, problems you've identified or help people, um, and then prototyping things you've sketched. Um, and very quickly by doing it, they understand sort of what interaction design is before they actually have a good academic sense of what it might be. It forces you to go out and talk to people with real problems and find and look for solutions and care about people. The openness to failing and learning from that failure, here's why this thing didn't work, okay, I'm gonna do it this way next time. There's real value in that. Students tag all sorts of stuff. Disaster recovery, um, they focused on health records and health management, personal health management. Um, they focused on safety and security in the transgender community. Um, they focused on uh, pregnancy. Uh, and um, when I say focused on, they did that process we talked about. They did qualitative research, they sketched ideas, they prototyped them, and they tried them. This curriculum and this atmosphere and the, the great amount of, of authority that we are allowed and encouraged and have to have eventually you have to grow towards that. EC40 definitely um, teaches you to question things not just take things for what it is and really understand like just constantly understand and reframe it figure out a solve for you. This school intentionally fosters authority over your work, confidence, tenacity, the you know, idea and confidence that we can take this process and do whatever we want with it. And I think that that is a fundamentally different thing than what's happening in, in very traditional higher education. 